Welcome back to the Beyond Electric Sheep podcast. I'm Brick Thompson. And I'm Ed Daniels. Ed, we were just talking about AI and the creation of art, whether you can call it art. Well, I guess you can when AI creates yep. it. And we started talking about visual art. So you have a diffusion model that creates a, an original piece of art. Yes, right. it, was, it was trained on other art, but it creates something that maybe has never right. been seen before and how it probably is a piece of art and it might be a piece of art that you really like. And I just sort of offhand said, yeah, but I wouldn't pay as much for that piece of art right. as I would for a human handcrafted right. piece of art. I don't know why exactly. Right, so if you had exactly, essentially, exactly the same painting, one created by AI and another created by an artist maybe that you know or maybe you don't know or you know the reputation, you'd pay more for the human I would, art. and I can't tell you why. And the AI art might be subjectively better in some way, but I would just rather have yeah. one that was produced by a human, which is kind of strange. But I might not mind having AI produced art on my walls. Right. It's just I wouldn't value it as and, much. And I think we should just point out that, you know, AI is not a data retrieval mechanism or image retrieval mechanism. In other words, all the art that the AI learned on isn't just stored, represented in that network in exactly a realistic image sort of thing. You're not just going, it's not just going and retrieving something. Like in this case, photos. it's actually why we call it Gen AI. It's actually generating something that responds to the request of the user. Yeah. Well, so that got us then talking about music, and I have played music since I was a kid, starting with piano lessons and then guitar, and then in my late teens and my 20s, I played in various bands, bluegrass bands, blues bands, cover bands, that type of thing. Um, and not, are you still doing this? I still play guitar, yeah, for, but for myself. I don't perform at all. Um, I wasn't much of a performer. I mean, I was, I was in garage bands. It was for I fun. I about that. I don't know. It was for fun. <laughs> yeah. I had a regular job and once a month do a gig with some friends, that type of thing. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about AI-generated music and what's, what is that going to do right. either to musicians or, and to consumers of music. Right. And there's can, can you describe what you think the state of the art is right now in AI generated music? I mean, I mean is I can, it distinguishable from a real performer? What's the state? It is, but it's getting close. I mean, I've only played with the commercial things that are out there, UDO and I think it's called UDO. There's very various uh, two or three of them out there. Yeah. They're kind of amazing. I mean, they can mimic a style and a type of music. Um when they first came out, you, they could mimic a, a current performer, although they've kind of put rules in place not to do that. Right. Yet you can kind of trick it into doing that by d describing the style. There's something a little uncanny valley still in most of it to me. And for me, it's not that interesting because it just is a little sterile. Mm -hmm. One of the things I like most about music is seeing it live and seeing improvisation and the emotion Right. That's going into it, and knowing that this is this is uh, a, a one-time piece that I'm going. There's something right. special about so that. So even like that. when even if people are playing the same music that you might have heard, uh, whatever on the on the radio or in a, in a recording, it's a little bit different when it actually comes out on stage. For me, it has more value that way. I don't want it to be a perfect cover. Yeah. I want it to have interesting elements to it. Um, so I think AI music, I, you know, it's nowhere close to doing anything interesting that way. And what I've seen that it produces are small snippets. Um, but it does mimic a certain kind of music. I enjoy pop, pop music, too, yeah. even though I, I should probably look down my nose at, at pop music. I think it it's, can be really enjoyable, and it is kind of canned and not improvised and, and so on. And I think AIs can probably produce that kind of music. Yeah. But I wonder if it'll get really devalued. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've already seen with things like Spotify where you can pay 10 or 15 bucks a month and get every song that you'd ever want to listen to. And when you and I were kids, we bought you know vinyl albums. Right. And I remember saving up money 
and going down to Peach's record store right. and spending, you know, 10 bucks on a Led Zeppelin album yeah. or whatever and just treasuring it, right. bringing it home and listening to it and taking it to my friends and yeah. listening with them. It's not like that anymore. You can listen to anything. So you skip the bad cuts. <laughs> you right. don't get that deep. Yeah. Right. And I it's think a little it's, more commoditized. I guess yeah, I think so. And I think yeah. it's made it so that uh, working musicians, I mean, there probably weren't ever that many bands that could make a great living just on the recordings. But yeah. I bet you it's even less now. You've got to go out right. and f you know fill seats with people buying tickets right. to make a living. Um, Maybe that's it's, good. I think it's good. I was going to say, is that a like positive it. effect? In a way, the performers now really need to get out there in front of a live audience. May, to, maybe. If they, if they like that, yes, yeah. I think so. Uh, but there may be musicians that don't. They don't want to travel. Yeah. You know, they have a family. They just want to produce cool stuff in the, in the uh, studio. So I think it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. But... Uh, if you broaden back out to just art in general right. and AR art, I think there may be a premium for human produced art in the right. future. Something that really ha feels like it has some soul right. and has emotion and the imperfections that make it good. You know, you think of, well, back to music, you think of like a quantized drum machine that plays right. a perfect beat better than any drummer. It's not as good as drumming by a human right. that has those little imperfections right. and the drag and the swing right. and the whatever that the drum machines just can't do as well. Hmm. So I, um, I think it's going to be an interesting thing to watch evolve. I'm reading a book, actual physical book, by Nick Bostrom. He's the guy that wrote the book on super intelligence oh, yeah. about 10 years so ago. Good, yeah. This one's, uh, I think it's Deep Utopia. Utopia is the title. And, um, you know, he says, well, what with AI taking over so many different jobs and having so much capability, what is now going to be the purpose of human life? What's our purpose, you know, given that uh, uh, AI can create the perfect drum beat? What if you're a drummer and you love doing that? Well, and so he points out that there's some value to something that's created by a human being with even with all the flaws, it can still be more valuable than a sort of commoditized automated a version of music created by an AI. I think that's right. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I think that it's possible AIs will be good collaborators for human artists. Mm. You know, I, I, it's, I, I'm not good at writing songs, but I could use an AI song generator to get me an idea, yeah. you know, decent chord progression, help me with lyrics, and then develop that into something of my right. own. That could be something that's useful. Interesting. I know musicians do that now. They hire people to help them write. Yeah. So it's, it's is it a co-pilot or is it a muse? I guess it depends how much it's doing. I mean, there are musicians now that will hire someone that writes the whole song, and then they collaborate and get it right yeah. for themselves. Or they come in, the musician comes in with an idea and then works with a pro to develop it and make it good. It seems like an AI could help with that. I think the final product, at least for me, I'm still going to want the human produced and performed yeah. piece of music, even if it's recorded, you know, you remember when Auto-Tune came in? Remember that yeah. Cher song? Yeah. And, and various guys were using it on their yeah. rap records and stuff. Um, and it was kind of a cool effect. Right. But very quickly, we all got to the point where we didn't want to hear perfect singing. I mean, we love to hear a perfect singer because they're naturally right. gifted. But if it's just auto-tuned, right. it's boring. It takes away the soul to it. Interesting. And I, think I can you know, think of going to an art museum where you see a really great piece of art and you know, a painting that it looks more real than a photograph. Yeah. And maybe it's like that with music. I think it might be. I think arts in general may be the things that survive the AI onslaught. They may get improved by mm -hmm. it, but you're going to want dancers to be people, not yeah. robots, I think, right. to get the emotion and the feeling. I think maybe even with food, which I consider, you know, well-done food is an, an art. And I enjoy art forms that are ephemeral, that are just there for that yeah. performance, like a dance right. performance or a music performance or, um, you know, eating a great meal. You could have robots that would produce perfect, yeah. you know, really uh, high-end food, but right. it's not going to be as good as knowing some guy back there made it just right, right. and plated it just right, yeah. and it just is its own unique piece of art instead of a perfect copy. I think we are entering that world. We're not there yet, 
but I think we're entering that world that's going to be very interesting, and I think we're going to have to learn, I think, to appreciate that. I think that's right. I think it may actually improve art, but I don't think the human element goes away. We'll see. You know, there's yeah. certain jobs that I think people didn't expect to get automated that are going to get automated quickly. You know, um, basic legal writing and right. things like that, or maybe not even yeah. that basic. But I think art may be the last to go. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Thanks, yep. Ed. Okay.